investors are looking for a substantial fiscal response from Washington uh, to try to stem the economic damage from the coronavirus outbreak. And our own Eamon Javers joins us now uh, with more. Hey, Eamon. Yeah, good morning, Joe. We do expect Congress to move today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not clear exactly when in the day the Senate is going to take action, but uh, we do expect to see St Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin up on Capitol Hill later today persuading Republican senators to move on that House-passed bill. They were able to get the technical corrections done uh, last night that Secretary Mnuchin said they needed to do on the House side. So now the action is in the Senate side. There is some concern here, Joe, that if the Senate and House were to adjourn and go on to recess, uh, that for some unknown time in the future, they might not be able to get those members of Congress back to Washington, depending on airline travel, sickness and health of the staff and the members themselves. So that there is some urgency here to getting this done this week. The Senate is also talking about an additional bill beyond what the House passed. And you've got some out, out there like Mitt Romney suggesting we need to just start sending money to Americans. But at least the initial proposal is below a certain threshold. All of that, as you guys have been watching throughout the day yesterday, impacting the stock market, the president asked about the market yesterday, said the most important thing he can do is focus on the virus. Here's what he said. Best thing I can do for the stock market is we have to get through this crisis. That's what I can do. That's the best thing we can do. That's what I think about. Uh, once, uh, once this virus is gone, uh, I think you're going to have a stock market like nobody's ever seen before. And you guys referenced that tweet from the president overnight saying that the United States will support various industries, mentioning the airlines in particular. That's the central focus right now this morning. But you can imagine, guys, that uh, industries across the entire economy are going to be impacted by this. And the question is going to be where to draw the line for federal support or do you draw the line for federal support uh, in terms of all of the industries as you think about uh, American students staying home from school, restaurants, bars, uh, movie theaters, uh, food courts, all of those. The president now saying Americans should avoid all of those businesses and no gatherings of more than 10 people, guys. So that affects just about everybody in the country. Amen. in terms of the approach that, that you think the president's going to take, there's sort of two schools of thought here. One is that he says that there are particular industries, as he pointed out in the, email, in, the, in, the in the tweet last night, that are necessary for the U.S. economy, that he's going to actually pick, pick the industries. Um, there's another school of thought that, and, and the airlines have made this argument to him, you did this to us, meaning the U.S. government is coming and saying, hey, you need to, you know, we're going to shut down, we're going to effectively shut down airlines, at least uh, internationally, if not whatever you believe may or may not happen next, and therefore you need to uh, compensate us for that. If that, if it's the second example, uh, you have a different situation because then you're going to have the hotels and you're going to have the restaurants and every small business across the country. How do you how do you see him sort of trying to work through that argument? I mean, it's entirely uncharted territory. We have no idea how this president would respond. You know, there's sort of. Uh, free market, uh, you know, conservative economists around the president who don't like the idea of government support for industries. But this is an entirely new situ situation. So you do have uh, sort of ideological lines being bent every possible which way. The other argument, Andrew, is that uh, you might need to do something across the entire economy, right? right? Entirely unprecedented. We haven't seen that before at all. Uh, not, not clear exactly how that would work, but just put the full faith and credit of the United States behind the, the entire U.S. economy in some fashion, uh, because everyone's going to be hit. I mean, this isn't going to pick winners and losers, and it'd be very difficult to go down a list and say, yes, this industry, know that industry. Yes, these employees, know that employees. You can imagine the amount of social disruption and unrest and frustration that would result from a process like that. Uh, so you, clearly, you, you've got to think as big as possible in a situation like this. Uh, not clear where Congress's head is on any of this. You saw uh, Louis Gohmert, for example, yesterday blocking unanimous consent on the technical fix bill because he wanted to read it and he didn't want to allow that to, to move forward until he was satisfied. So even individual members can sort of throw gum in the right. works here uh, and decide, you know, this isn't good enough for me. So you've got people in all different it, places right now, all different head spaces. It not definitely clear runs, it it, it, it runs the whole it runs a whole political <laughs> gamut, as you said. I've seen both sides. I've seen uh, people say, you know, they, back in the financial crisis, these companies brought it on themselves. This is totally out of, out of the control of all these companies that are affected. Then at the same time, right. I hear, uh, Eamon, some people saying, you got a tax cut, you spent a trillion dollars buying back stock, 
at levels much higher right. uh, than than where they are right now, and they, they don't have much uh, pity for them. So it, 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 even this is being uh, politicized uh, at this point. Sure. And you look at the cruise lines, right? A lot of the cruise lines are not headquartered in the United States. They're headquartered in offshore low-tax jurisdictions. Uh, mm -hmm. They avoid U.S. regulations in many cases by flagging their ships overseas. Is that going to be a popular move that the U.S. government steps in to save them? Uh, not all of them, but many of them are in that bucket. Uh, you know, and you look through the entire economy, the, the banks, as you right. say, buying back stock instead of reinvesting. Uh, you know, there, there's going to be anger here um, and there's going to be frustration. But I, when this is all said and done, we also need to have a U.S. economy. Can I, I ask you guys if you think the experience of 2008 is something that will make it more likely or less likely for Congress, the administration and everyone to work together? You know, Becky, I thought in the early days of this that the 2008 lessons would be refought, you know, again, and we'd be fighting over bailouts, we'd be fighting over TARP, we'd be fighting over, you know, what's the appropriate role for the taxpayer here. But as this goes on, every day, every 24-hour period here has been an entirely new political universe. And I think we can't even begin to predict where we're going to be by the end of the week here. I think we might be way past the 2008 lessons here because, again, this is not a situation that these companies brought on themselves by mismanagement or, yeah. uh, in some cases, uh, just flat-out greed. This is a situation where a natural disaster right. has struck the entire country simultaneously. I mean, this is Katrina plus Sandy plus 9-11 plus 2008 all at once right. and then some. So I mean, how does the government respond? Evan, I've been talking to a lot of folks in Washington, but also specifically them looking at those examples that you just mentioned, 9-11 also uh, on that list. And invariably then you start thinking about, as you said, uh, the equivalent maybe of a, a, a national bridge loan for every company in America when you think about sort of what yeah. that ultimately looks like. That is, that is a several trillion dollar package, by the way, uh, if you end up deciding to sure. go in that direction. Um, and we will see, of course, uh, where it heads.